Okay, this is my third video, and this is just a safe lid, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about it. It has a dial here, it's a number from 0 to 100. Now this is where you open it, this is called the opening index. Most safes, they have uh, another one here called the change index, to change. And I'm going to show you later how to change the combination on this lock using this opening index slash change index. This is a dial that's removable, just it's a Phillips. Let me see, I'm going to have to try this with one hand. Okay, just a Phillips screw. Okay, I'm going to remove the screw. The dial comes out. Pretty cool, you know, maybe like you got manipulators out there when you manipulate your safe open, but they can't, not without the dial. So you just take that dial out. Just put it back whenever you're going to open your little safe up. Just screw this back in. Okay, let me show you the back of it. It's pretty heavy. Okay, I'm gonna take the little lid out the back. This requires a flat. Use my four and one screwdriver. Okay. Take out this screw here. I'm trying to do this one hand, so. I'm holding the camera in my other hand. Okay, there we go. Take this up. There's a little washer too. So you can see that. Okay, let's get the other one out. Okay, you see that little hole right there? That's that's where you put your change key in or change your combination. I'll show you that in uh, another video. Okay. Do a screw, a little washer. This is the lid. It doesn't completely come out because it's riveted. Right there. So I'll just slide this across. Now this lock. Let me see. It's a Diabo 900 series. Uses the change key from a Sergeant in Greenleaf 6700 series. I had a modifier right here. I had to make a little cutout so it could turn. Okay. Let me get back to Phillips. Show you the inside of the safe lock. In another video, I'll show you the little components inside the safe lock here. Okay. He's pretty cool, huh? Later, I'll take that apart, talk about little pieces. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy this little video and have more parts to it later. Okay, thank you for watching.